for all of them, Jamie. Right, let's try and see if we can make some progress here and unpick some of this. We've got Forrest on 33, Everton on 32, Leicester and Leeds now on 30. Um, Southampton have, have obviously got it all to do. How do you see it? I, I said today, I felt today's results could be as important or more important than what happens maybe on the last day of the season. And I think those two results for Everton and Nottingham Forest today put huge pressure on Leicester and Leeds. Three games to go. I think Everton and Forest, if they get one more result, if they win another game, I think that they're OK. Because Leicester would then have to get to sort of another five points from three games. Leeds the same. And we're talking about teams who were on really poor runs. You know, not winning games, picking up points. So, I mean, I think that fixture list, if we, if we maybe forget Southampton, unfortunately for them, but Newcastle, Liverpool, Man City, Chelsea, that is a tough next weekend for all those teams. It really is. And if anyone was to pick up anything there, it'd be almost be a bonus uh, for them. But in terms of Leicester and Leeds, they have to. They have to find a way of getting something. I almost feel like Leeds need to win. I really do. And then you go into the last two games of the season. Yeah. Well, just to take that next line. All right, if you're going to say that that first line is really difficult for everybody, what about that second line? <laughs> Arsenal for Forest. Everton have got to go to Wolves, who are on a terrific run of home form under Lopetegui. Leicester have got to go to Listen, Newcastle. Leeds going to West Ham. When you're down at the bottom, every game's hard because <laughs> you don't beat anyone, really. I mean, who's ever... fixtures? Let me ask you, Martin, whose fixtures would you fancy right now? Who, uh, what if you're in the, managers, in the manager's chair, which, which, which of those three look the least painful? Well... First of all, if you, if you look at Nottingham Forest and Everton at this minute, take, the, take, take a scenario that you think, the worst scenario that you feel is that you don't actually have to get another point to mm. stay up, number one. That's, that's looking at it, um, you know, I would have said uh, very pessimistically. You know that you have to win. I mentioned at the start of the programme that if I, if I was Leeds, I'm thinking if I could get five points on the board. That might have been before Everton had finished their, their game. That was a big, big win for them. All the sides around here probably thought Everton might get something from the game against Brighton, might not, but they were not expecting that big victory. So that is, that's, a, that's a massive boost at this stage of the season. So if you're looking now, Jimmy, you're looking at the three, three teams at the bottom. I thought myself that Leicester would have enough goal power to, to get themselves out of trouble, but they do leak goals, and that is a major problem. I, I think watching Leicester today, that was not a performance from a team who were fighting for their lives. Mm. And I really fear for them, I really fear, because obviously got Liverpool next will be, a, will be a tough game, but Newcastle away, West Ham at home, I'm not sure they could get to the West. It might be over by the time they get to the West Ham game. You know, Liverpool are in great form. Newcastle away, we know, is one of the toughest away games that you've got. I mean, I, I'm not quite sure how Leicester will get out of that. I'm really not. And when you talk about who's got the best fixtures right now, because of the result today and where Everton find themselves, yes, they've got City next. But Wolves away, Bournemouth at home, I, I think Everton have got the best set of fixtures there, mm. considering where they are. So I think I don't really see them going down now, Everton. And Leicester, I'm not quite sure how they're going to get out of it.